What does it mean to truly be integrated with your reformer springs? Let's take a look in kneeling arm circles. I've got one blue spring on, which is relatively light. It might be heavy enough for some people, but for me, you're gonna see that it's really not enough. So I take hold of my handles and I'm gonna bring myself up, arms reach out. With a blue spring on, I'm not as inclined to really use the lower half of my body, anything from my belly button down. I'm not engaging my hips really at all, yet I can still manage an easy circling of the arms. I can go to a full range of the circle either direction because it's not enough spring to challenge my lower body but it is enough spring to challenge my upper body and i'm still getting a good challenge of stability in the shape you still don't see me wiggling and grooving all over the place but if you look closely you'll see that i'm having a really hard time opening the front of my hips and that's because i've had nothing going on back here because my body and my brain knows that I can stay on top of the spring and ride on top of the carriage and just really let my arms do the moving. Now, if I'm gonna put a little sauce on it, I'm gonna take that blue spring off. And just to prove a point, I'm gonna skip the red. I'm gonna go to a whole green spring, big daddy, all right? So now all of a sudden, it's too much for just my arms to do the work, right? It's too heavy of a spring. So if I try to just use my arms, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall because I'm not engaged down below. So it's too much and I'm too hop top heavy and, I'm, and I will fall and I'm not gonna demonstrate falling on my face for you, no, right? So what I have to do is now find where my feet engage down into the mat, down into the blocks, pushing work up into the hammy, whoo! Now you see some opening in the front of the hips, but now I've got investment of the lower body standing down and into the carriage so that as my upper body has to get into some work, my lower body is there helping. And then quite honestly, this green spring now feels just as light as the blue spring did because my lower half is engaged and because I'm integrating my entire body with the spring and the spring is giving me enough feedback now because it's so heavy that I have to do the work through my whole body and the minute my lower body lets go I'm going to lose the tension with the spring I'm going to lose the integration with it and I'm going to fall or I'm going to wibble or I'm going to wobble in which case yes build your spring build the strength and that's what be what we'll be working on in this workshop in spring integration.